So we're up in Wyoming. We're sitting in a Walmart parking lot. And as you can see, I'm standing behind my trailer. Hope has a name. And his name? Well, it's Jesus. We were talking the other day. A friend of mine asked me, well, where do you get your ideas from? And I said, well, they just come to me. They, a thought comes. And let me give you a thought that just came to me while I was talking to him. The word rescue. You know, we have a dog that's rescued. It's a beautiful dog and we love her. And we get a lot of comments about having rescued a dog. But you know, we're rescued. If you're a friend of Jesus, if you're a follower of him, he's rescued you from well, from things that would have taken you out. And if you're not there, he'll rescue you from the things that are taking you down. And that's the beauty of it. We think about rescuing animals and how great it is, but our Heavenly Father wants to rescue us. Rescue us from the things that are pulling us down and weighing us down in life. Fear, anxiety, worry, money, health issues, whatever it is. There's a song that says, I speak Jesus. I speak Jesus to these things in your life, in my life. And the thing is, is God wants to rescue us. So what's it gonna be? I mean, think about your own life. Think about where you are in your situation and ask yourself, do I need to be rescued? Or do you wanna to continue to try to do it on your own? Because the question ultimately becomes, how's that working for you? And you know what? I've been around long enough to know that it doesn't work. The one that has all the answers, the one that has all the power, even to go through the misery in the dark places of life, his name is Jesus. He is our hope. He is the name above all names. Think about that today while you're going through your day. Think about the moments that God has rescued you and you didn't even know it. Hey, until next time, God bless.